APIs can't handle unlimited requests all at once. If too many users send requests at the same time, the server gets overloaded. To prevent this, we use something called the token bucket algorithm. Basically, this algorithm is used as a rate limiter to ensure your APIs don't get bombarded with a lot of requests in a short span of time. So imagine a bucket that steadily fills with tokens. Each token represents permission to make a request. The bucket has a maximum size, so once it's full, no extra tokens are added. When a user makes an API call, the request must grab a token from the bucket. If a token is available, the request goes through. But if the bucket is empty, the request is blocked. Let's look at the first scenario, where a user rapidly hits the same API. The first few requests succeed because tokens are available. You can see request 1 succeeds and a token is removed. Request 2 succeeds and token decrements. Same with request 3, so does request 4. Request 5 also succeeds and the last token gets removed. Now the bucket runs out of tokens and further requests are rejected until tokens refill over time. Hence request 6 is rejected. Now let's consider another scenario where there are three tokens in the bucket and the user hits API consecutively for first two times then takes a bit of time before hitting the API the third time. So the user makes two quick requests. First request 1 which succeeds and the token decrements. Then request 2 also succeeds and the token decrements. Then the user pauses for a bit. During this pause, tokens refill inside the bucket as the time passes. So when the third request comes later, it succeeds again. Because as we can see, tokens were available in the bucket. So in short, tokens drip into the bucket at a steady rate. Each request needs one token to pass. And if the bucket is empty, requests are blocked. This way, the token bucket algorithm prevents abuse while still allowing short bursts of traffic. So that's all for this algorithm. If you found the video insightful, drop a like and subscribe for more.